Oh, who say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free? Like it's me against the world, but I can give a fuck who my opponent is. Wow! He drills it from Hi, everybody. Time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports. Brian Anderson with And we're expecting an intense battle in the front court tonight, Grant. Both teams with a lot of talent in those positions. You know, B.A., it'll be an interesting matchup here with the talent and size of their front court. It should make this game extra challenging for these squads. They can't just count on being the dominant force down low. They'll have to get a little creative. Now the starting group for the visitors. Here's the great. Oh, he picked him clean. Pass to Wagner. Count that bucket. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. Quickly against White. Over quickly. White. Good. And hitting from the mid-range here and early. I mean, really gives the defense just another thing to worry about. They're basically saying, you're going to have to guard us at every point on the floor tonight if you're going to have any chance. to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. And let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. Quickly from outside. Sinks it from distance. <laughs> Defensively, have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Quickly against White. Pass to the great. It's deflected. Just over a minute and a half in. Quickly outside. Here's Ben Carroll. In his last outing, 10 points for him. Tips. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Quickly. Here's White. About two minutes gone by in the first quarter. Got a piece of it. And they'll keep possession. Takes the three. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Boy, that's just great passing out of the double team. They had him bottled up, but he manages to create an easy basket out of all that pressure. Well, I know you spent a lot of your career in Orlando. What are your favorite memories of that time? None, B.A. You know I was hurt the entire time while I was in Orlando. No, but in all seriousness, there's great people, great city. And it was fun to see young guys like Jameer Nelson and Dwight Howard get drafted. For Baltimore, they've gone three of five here in the opening quarter. Trying to stop a guy like this, you have to match his intensity level. Orlando trailing here. Away team foul. White. First personal foul. First team foul. Here's quickly. Currently averaging five points a game. Shoots over White. Blocked! by Parker. Launches it. Knocks down the long J. An outstanding first quarter from the field. Orlando clear. The ball's knocked loose. And 
first quarter. We're about three and a half minutes in. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Now you want to get him going as soon as possible. Great way for him to start this game. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. Here's that Carroll. It's good. Only a few seconds into the shot clock. Baltimore has gone two of two at the perimeter. Here's the great. Oh, and the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. At the line for the and he knocks down the first one. At the line for two. Good on both. This is about the last guy you want to send to the stripe right now. They keep fouling him, and he keeps making them. And here's quickly. Pass to Ben Carroll. Now the question is, do you leave him in? A fourth foul this is spell trouble. The Magic making a switch here. Coming on the floor, your Magic. Corner shot. It's all in by White. I'm sure he's kicking himself. He hates to blow that kind of opportunity. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. For Orlando, they've gone three of six from the floor. That's tipped. White with the steal. They've been very effective so far. A balanced attack at its best. On the offensive end, it feels like they're getting the shots they want. And defensively, they are connected and on a string. And Orlando has possession. Trailing by 13. Home court didn't seem to help last time they met. We'll see if it makes a difference this time. If they want to beat these guys this time, they have to do better on the glass. That was their undoing. Well, you have to believe the coaching staff made that a point of emphasis. Better aggressiveness, better intensity on the backboards. Gets the three ball to go. Five points in the game. This has been just a dreadful start for them defensively. Not good at all. Just out of control. Already three fouls for him. They need this. And the basket is good. Boy, that's a bang-bang play on the inbounds pass. I like those quick hitters. Here's the great. He's got five. From downtown, count it. One for one to start the game. He drops yet another dive. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Pass to Kispert, fires the three. And again, it's Orlando with a three. And that's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two. Take the oh! Come on now, guys. That's flat out insane. Hey, when's the last time you saw a jam like that? Just an awesome display of athleticism on our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Using his post moves to get the two points. Man, he's bringing the energy, the efficiency. I love what he's doing on offensively. Here's the great. Stolen. Here's Wesley, looking for his first basket still in this one. And another basket for Orlando. There's 18 seconds left in the first quarter. Ooh, gets his zone. Show us some power. Ooh, and powered down. What a jam. In terms of offense, they've been the more efficient team by far. And I think because of that, they've gotten the better looks to start this basketball game. It's good if it goes. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer beater. They credit him for understanding the situation and coming through. And to me, the way you end quarters impacts how you end the game. It can go a long way between a W or an L. And a double-digit lead on the scoreboard as we end the first quarter of play. Up by 16. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And what do you guys think about the visitors here in this one? 
Oh, what I love was that first quarter was all about leaking out and capitalizing in transition. Man, why wouldn't they? You see their effectiveness in the open floor. Very difficult to slow down. No one near him. Drained it for two points. Give him eight. Pretty dime there. The kind of ball movement coaches love to see. And for Orlando, it's tipped. And they recover it. Tries again. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. You're not going to get stops against him unless you give an effort. Well, you ask any team executive, they're all looking for the next Giannis. The problem is there aren't many like Giannis. Oh, that is so true, VA. Good luck with that team, executives. But reality, look. With the way the NBA game has evolved, positionless basketball is what it's all about. Combine that with size, skill, and talent. That's a dangerous combination, and that's what every team needs. Second quarter of basketball, about a minute played so far. They set the pick. And again, it's Orlando with a three. He simply must play better defense than that. This guy is too good from distance. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. At the line for the away team. Orlando has gone three of three from outside here in this one. Pass to Murphy. And again, it's Orlando with a three. Well, offensively, this guy has been cooking. They are definitely not losing because of him. Here's the great. Crafty move. Oh, wow. Incredible. Oh, he goes up high for the two-handed slam. Filthy. I mean, just difference and looking formidable. And, of course, Orlando... They're a ways down in the standings. And there are the Magic with another bucket. The closer, the better for him. That's what you want. Out left to the wing. Beyond the arc. Parries it from three. He's got 14. Slowly building up steam. Hit one from range in the first. He's hit two here in the second. here in the second quarter of action just a hair in two and a half minutes play i'll tell you the consistency of a good first quarter leads to a excellent second quarter riding the wave here and he finishes that makes him four out of five and he's coming off a huge performance and his confidence couldn't be any higher and his coach knows that too well the best players to me deliver night after night after night so as long as he's hot he keep riding it i'll tell you despite this guy's strong play in this period they're still behind someone else has got to step up to the inside lays it up and in off the pretty assist great teamwork on that drive punctuated by a strong finish going right to the rim which is where you want transition opportunities to end. offensively man carroll is a difference maker not just with the talent but with his relentless approach with two hands on the rocks he powers it through totally in control protecting the ball the whole way hook loose here we go who's got ball and he lobs it up. And I think that play tells you everything you need to know. They're simply playing at a higher level, getting a steal and turning it into quick points. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Now here's quickly. Six points for him. Inside. Down low. Here's Murphy. And he dunks it. What a pass to set him up. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. Oh, throw it down. Can you say wow. elevation? 
I almost can't believe what I saw. <laughs> Incredible. I'm speechless, man. I'm speechless. Pass to Murphy. Now quickly. A little mid-range shot is up. And Orlando again with the bucket. And he's single-handedly trying to keep them alive. Terrific scoring quarter. Will it be enough, though? Here's the great, guarded by Quickly. Fires in the triple. He's got 15. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. We've got a minute 48 left in the second period. Not this time. Baltimore has gone a perfect seven for seven from deep in this one. To the middle. From down in the low post, it goes. And, and just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Pass to Murphy. Here's Van Carroll. 102 left to play in the first half. Here's quickly. And again, it's Orlando converting. That's fantastic shot making this quarter after struggling a bit in the first. Baltimore has got it going from deep. Three for three so far in the quarter. Here's the great. Here he goes. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. At the line for the away team. Shooting one. Orlando has gone two for two from the arc here in the second. Here's Wesley. And the shot's off. One for two in this one. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. The great. Got a hand on it. Number 23. We've got 33 seconds left in the second quarter. Here's Wesley. Three-pointer, no good. Oh, and there's a one-hand jam. You know, you have to use the bounce pass in that instance to make the catch easier. Bogner outside to halt the run. Sinks the tray. Wagner's got five. What we know about Ron Wagner is this guy attempts a fair amount of threes for a reason. He's pretty effective, guys. And so it's Baltimore. Up 25 big ones as we head into the next period. It hasn't taken them too many shots to get their points. They're winning with efficiency. Back after this. Has gotten seven of eight three-pointers to go in this game. It's White with the drive. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Just rising up to the rim. Man, when he gets up there, he gets up there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Orlando's going five of six from three-point land so far. Quickly against White. Pass to Wagner. Knocked loose. Here's the great. Defended by Wagner. And an emphatic jam on the lob. Oh, great teamwork right there. Hey, you got to love the finish. Bringing it down with some attitude. Magic shooting the ball incredibly well tonight. 73% from the floor. Quickly against White. Here's Wesley. And for those tuning in, we're about a minute into this second half. Here's the pick. And 
Wagner gets it to go. Wagner's got his third basket of the night. Fantastic ball movement for them tonight. Yeah, things are definitely working offensively. A balanced attack is just so much harder to defend. Into the lane. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. And this is what we've come to expect from this guy, right? Not only making a ton of shots, but being efficient while doing so. Wagner on the wing. Kicks it to Quickly. Here's the three. Gets the three to fall. Quickly's got 11 points. Well, we've seen this from Wagner over and over. This guy understands when a man is open, he's got the timing and the touch to make the pass. On the wing, Quickly. We're just about two minutes into the second half now. Grant, when you see players make that leap from star to superstar, think about guys like Giannis and Jason Tatum. I mean, what is that step like? You did it. Well, it's interesting. You know, you come into the league and, and, and you have success right away. But at some point, everything just clicks. It could be year four, year five, year six, usually in that window where now you figure things out and now you take that next step and become elite. Now, B.A., you know, I'm hoping that things start to click with me and my golf game. It's been about four or five years there. Superstar status is not in the cards for you on the golf course. <laughs> Sees his man, threads the pass inside. Excellent teamwork. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Pass to Wesley. Ooh, poked away. And not often we get treated to a solo alley-oop. <laughs> Takes precision timing for sure. The Magic have gone three of three in the second half. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Well, guys, finish your... In transition, here they come. And the shot goes. And right now, that's five buckets in a row. Looking like a well-oiled machine coming out of the break. Quickly against White. Quickly outside. Pass to Wesley. Here's Murphy. To the wing on the left. There's the triple. It's hauled in by White. Their first missed after hitting three straight shots. But I like their aggressiveness coming out of the half. And the shot counts. He's fouled. And it's a chance for a three-point play. Baisley, he's checked in for Wagner. Shooting for the away. We've gone about three and a half minutes here into the third. Now quickly. 13 points in the game. Pass to Baisley. And there's a pick. To stop the run. And here's a look at what's coming up for the Orlando Magic. On Monday, they'll be matching up with Andre Drummond and the Golden State Warriors. And then on Wednesday, they head out on the road to face the Pistons in Detroit. And that game against the Wizards, it's going to be a very tough one for them. They'll need to be playing at their peak if they're going to steal the win. Kispert's checked in for quickly. Boy, Darius Baisley is enticing, guys. You're talking about a lengthy, athletic big man with outstanding versatility. This guy is putting on a clinic for the people. Man, I'm shocked. I can't believe he pulled that off in a real game. Here's Wesley. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. White for three. And yes, it's good. He's seven for eight now. Everything is dropping for them. Just a terrific third period run. And I think it's been all about their offensive efficiency, shooting the lights out in this quarter. Here's Kispert. Right through the D for the layup. Kispert's got five. And 
impressive. I mean, challenging at the rim against Lake. You just have to love the aggressiveness. You have got to believe that you can score against size on the interior. How about the aggressive assertive right there? Shoot from beyond the three-point line, and it's been fun to watch. Pass to Murphy. 143 left in the third quarter. Intercepted. Here's the great. Dumps it hard with one hand. Wow, he makes it look easy. Their offense is looking like a well-oiled machine, getting any look they want. Well, what great game planning, what great execution. It doesn't get much better than this. Pass to Murphy. Here's Wesley. Deflected! Outside White. That goes out of bounds. And they retain possession. He had the right idea, just couldn't come up with the swipe. Yeah, the anticipation was there. The hustle was there. Very close to picking that one. Off the inbound pass. Score that basket. His eighth out of nine shots here today. Well, they're leading in large part because of the work he's put in in this quarter. This is nicely done. White with the steal. It's two on one. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Wesley. Drills the baseline jumper. With defense that soft, you have to take them to task. Tipped. Oh, and a fast break for the Magic. Here's Kispert. And he lays it in on the break. Kispert's gotten four this quarter. They're really looking to that inside game here in the second half. Getting away from taking a bunch of threes. Galloway. And down it goes. Jam that one home. He's shaking the hoop. He's actually shaking the whole building. Oh, what a slam. Look here. The fans going crazy right now. Plenty of daylight on that shot. Six points for him. And here's White. He's got 19. Four seconds left. And that one is stuffed right through. He is torching a defense that simply has no answers for him. And so it's Baltimore with a gigantic 33-point lead at the close of the quarter. And though there's time left, they don't look like the man. Your magic youth dance team. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Talk about painting a magnificent picture with that dot. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. We call that putting it right in the pocket, and he knew what to do with it once it was there. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Here's Baisley. Oh, swiped away. And there's the slam. Dunk to finish it off. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. You know, for team owners, it often seems best not to take too active a role in basketball decisions. But, Grant, you're a team owner. How do you feel about this? Well, it's a tough situation, B.A. Many of these owners have made tremendous amounts of money building their fortunes, of course, being very hands-on with their business. But basketball is a different kind of business. Success is not always linear. And sometimes, as an owner, you're not an expert when it comes to this particular business. So it's interesting, kind of being engaged, but not being too hands-on and letting your people do their job to the best they can. Oh, five turnovers. When you get that many, you are really hurting your team. Orlando has gone 7 of 11 from outside the arc. Nice percentage from distance so far. Away team foul. First personal foul. Second team foul. Here's 
Baisley. There's the steal. After being so smart with the ball in the first half, he's gotten a bit careless. Boy, that's a beautiful touch on the floater. And let's remember, not everyone has that shot in their arsenal. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half of this fourth quarter. Here's Henry. He got a piece of it. They recover it. Pass to Galloway. Right wing. Out of bounds. Out of It'll be Orlando's ball. Orlando's ball. For Orlando, they've gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Tipped away. White with the steal. Dunks it down. Now, I know he makes it look easy, but it takes incredible physical tools to pull that off. Athleticism and explosion. Orlando shooting at a fantastic 68% from the floor. Fourth quarter play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. Henry, that one's good. Slow defensive rotation causing a breakdown along the perimeter. Here's the great. Oh, and now no question powered it down Woo! <laughs> ba that's lit ferocious all the way man that was good got a piece of it white with the steal and they're running here's galloway and he drops it in from the low post they've earned three of their last five points in transition the magic have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started Well, Grant, I know you collect art, so we've been hearing all about these NFTs that teams and players are creating. I'm going to need a little instructional here. What's it all about? <laughs> VA, first of all, memorabilia and collectibles have always been around. But yes, NFTs have taken it to a whole nother level. And yes, I do have an NFT. I don't fully understand it, so I can't explain it to you, but I know it's the next big thing, that's for sure. <laughs> you know, a pretty easy solution to stop in this run would be to get back on defense. It's pretty simple. Will it go? It's hauled in by White. Defense dodged a bullet that time. Total breakdown. And he goes in for the dunk. That'll be a move to remember. Wow. Yeah, great creativity in the air. Pass to Henry. Here's Wesley. Shoots over White. The shot by Wesley, no good. Well, it's a make or miss lead. Sometimes the Jays just don't fall. It wasn't a bad shot. And since the halftime break, their offense has just been on another level. I got to believe that's something the coach talked to them about at the halftime. They have valued each possession. Here's Henry. Off the mark there with a three. Yeah, they just can't seem to end the drought no matter where they shoot it from. And I think you can start to feel their frustration mounting. With every missed bucket, it becomes more and more desperate. It's been an outstanding performance for them in just about every area. You know this. It's not easy building a lead on the road, but this team has been lights out throughout the game. Well, Grant, the NBA has led the way when it comes to diversity and representation in high-level jobs. Grant, what are your thoughts on it? Yeah, B.A., I love this. I mean, the NBA really, truly has been a leader when it comes to this. Whether it's coaches, front office, in the, the league office in New York, living and embodying the spirit of diversity and inclusion is what the NBA is all about. It's fun to be a part of. The NBA, where everyone is welcome. They set the pick. And once again, off the mark by Orlando. Baltimore has gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. Here's White. And he drew the blocking foul. So he'll go to the line to shoot a pair. Second personal foul. First team foul. First one falls for him. Magic foul. Second personal foul. First team White hits them both. 
for Orlando. They've gotten just three of nine shots to go in, struggling this fourth quarter. Pass to Baisley. Oh, they need this! Knocks down the triple. What a stroke on Baisley's shot. He's getting better. He's turning himself into a real threat. Here's White. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. And he's just crushing them with plays like that. I mean, just continuing to pile it on. You want to make sure your opponent knows they have absolutely zero chance of a comeback. And nice finish by him. Pass to Wesley. Here's Kispert. The quick look, no good that time. Now here's White. Defense right on him. On the wing, Galloway. Nails it from three. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. Yeah, playing with great energy and great effort. And as a coach, you'd love to see this from your team every single night. Kispert's shot is good. Both teams are starting to find a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. And they came in here with some attitude, and they brought out their best play. And I couldn't agree more. What makes it that much more impressive, they're doing it on the road. 26 seconds left in the final quarter. Here's Wesley. He's guarded by White. Knocked away. White with the steal. And he's all alone. Pass to Galloway. Here's the great. Outside white. Crosses over. Oh, big finish! Oh, did you see that? He's a living highlight reel. Seriously, that could end up being one of the best dunks of the year. And so the road team gets the W in this one. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the...